Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we got some more rocks to cut for you guys. Let's get into it. Starting off with some of the uh, bird's eye. And it's one of those ice cream cones, but the tip of it broke. It's too bad. This is that orangish yellow one that I found out when I was with the family. Out at the uh, that new agate spot. I think it was Birch Creek. Yeah, finally got it cut open. Actually, I kind of lost it for a little while and had to find it. Eh, not particularly exciting. Interesting. So when I was out at the Dugway Geode Beds, my, the subscriber I met out there gave me these two agates that I think he said came from Minnesota. Man, I can't remember exactly. But somewhere around there. And I cut them open. That one was just full of quartz that grew all towards the middle. This one was a little better. It had a little bit of banding in it. You can, if you really look closely, there are a lot of bands in there. They're just so similar in color, they're hard to see. Very interesting. Here's some material that comes from the mine out, by, out at Clay Canyon. These are phosphate minerals. The yellow is crandallite. Neat. Here's some more Clay Canyon material. It's got a little bit of blue there. Not much on the inside, though. <laughs> Most of the good stuff's right here. Some more clay canyon, mostly crandallite this time, a bunch of yellow. Here's some more clay canyon. Oh, this one's very nice. Look at all that. So much going on there. Very pretty. Here's some more clay canyon. Oh, very nice. Lots of chambers in it. This is pretty typical of the area to have chambers like this. Here's some more clay canyon. Very yellow. Here's a piece of clay canyon. Looks like it had a little blue in it. And sure enough, we got a little bit of blue in there. Nice. Here's some more clay canyon. Pretty standard. A lot of yellow. Nice little dugway geode here. Thin one. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Not too bad. Just love the patterns that you get in some of these. Here we have some Picasso marble. Oh, not the best. Just a little bit right in the middle, that's good. Interesting. Here's some more Dugway. It's a bunch of little ones. And it looks very interesting when you got a bunch of little ones. Pretty cool in its own way. Here was a mine rock that had some like malachite and chrysocolla on the outside, so cut it open. And altered limestone with a little bit of malachite going through it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they can't all be winners. Still cool. Here's some more Vernon Wonderstone. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? All those eyes, everything going on. It's such cool stuff. Here we have some more petrified wood. It's a thin little branch. And, okay. It's not too bad. It's got a little bit in there. A little bit of color and pattern. Okay, not too bad. This was a long, thin piece of Wonderstone I decided to keep just because of that. And, Look at the inside of that. See, even little thin ones are amazing. And there's so much material out there. Yeah, Vernon Wonderstone is great. Oh, that's so cool. Here's some more Vernon Wonderstone. It looked really good on the outside, and after cutting it, decided to cut it several times. Look at this one. Look at those colors and patterns. Beautiful. Next one. That stuff's so amazing. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the last one. It's just stunning stuff, isn't it? Beautiful. It's a little piece of petrified wood. Didn't look very good on the outside. And it's a little better on the inside. It's darker. It has a little bit of red. Not too bad. Here we have some more of the replaced barite from Cisco and Yellow Cat. 
Okay, not too bad. Definitely had better. Still, it's pretty neat. Nice little thin piece of agate here. Oh. Oh, look at that. It is very clear, and there's some cool stuff in there. So I bet if you grind it down a little bit, or maybe grind off the back, could be really cool. Here we have kind of a strange piece of agate, or jasper or something. Whoa. Wow, look at those textures and patterns in there. Colors aren't good, but it is very interesting. Huh. Here we have some more petrified wood. Oh, that's actually very nice. Look at that, the red in there. Some nice patterns. Very cool. Nice. And for the final one today, this is some azurite and malachite that I found from a copper mine. I can't remember where or when, but I cut it open and look at that. It was full of azurite. It is beautiful. Oh man, I'd love to go find more of this. I just don't remember where I got it. So pretty though. And there you have it, some more really good stuff. Made me remember some of the places I've not been to in a long time that I need to get back to and make some videos for you guys. I'll get around to them eventually. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.